as you could tell, we had a beat Windy B. It was a bit hard. And this is, uh, I'm recording this on Sunday, the October 31st, uh, uh, you know, in the afternoon, because uh, this is around the time where after, I think, two full days, well, yeah, a day and a half of an activity of, like, Roblox being offline, Roblox finally came back online, kind of, uh, at the time I'm recording this, Roblox is slowly, I guess, releasing like slowly bringing back online the servers uh, like it, they tweeted that they were slowly rolling them out to regions so you know different countries are you know uh, being able to play Roblox there I guess they're just slowly opening opening it back up to see how the server reacts and if something happens uh, but yeah we yeah, have logged into a public server and uh, yeah here we are uh, and thank God I donated a star jelly and unlike last time this time thank God I think it might have been Roblox being broken that damaged the uh, that damaged the uh, damaged the uh, uh, damage I don't know the RNG or something because I kept donating star jellies and it only gave me wins and this time I donated one singular star jelly and it gave me uh, a windy bee but yeah here we are <sighs> without an actual proper intro, so, <clears throat> so hello everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name is Minion, today we're back once again for another episode of Beast Swarm Simulator, and today, thank the good lord, we finally finished a quest that should have been finished two days ago, but it wasn't because Roblox decided, because Roblox decided to shut down, alright, but in who? Uh, so the quest is the 20th quest for Spirit Bear, Tickle the Wind. And uh, we finally managed to complete it, so without further ado, let us go talk to her. This person was actually taking it down a Cocoa Crab, or at least trying to. Uh, because of the delay, I had to defeat my- I was going to defeat my Cocoa Crab on Sunday, but that's been delayed till today. So I'll defeat it and get more things. So anywho, moving on. Talk to Spirit Bear. Oh, comment. Basic? What? Why? Oh, there you are, dear. And here we are, dear. Mm-hmm. Here before we knew it. Here I after I blew it. Those petals, I mean. I blew them in the mountain top field to summon three windy bees. Did you know I could do that? Hehe, <laughs> probably. I mean, my name is Spirit Bear and I talk about windy bee frequently. And here we are. We're here now. Where the breeze took us, like always. Like last time. To his... To a spirit pedal, your second spirit pedal. She digs around for the spirit pedal in her pedal belt. Uh, oh, I, I really have to. <sighs> la 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 la, petata. <laughs> oh, I got you. Why did I agree to this? <laughs> she whispers to the spirit pedal. Are you ready to go? No. Well, we can't make you go. No boss is here. I guess it's, I guess I just have to go back in the bag. What's that? Oh, you, you want to go? Oh, oh good, I was running out of room in there anyways. She stops talking to the spirit puddle. <laughs> well then, you know how this works. Make your choice, either one, and come on back. Oh, <sighs> mm-hmm, come on back in time. Maybe, maybe give spirit bird a little break, but after that, you come on back. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, Tickle the Wing complete. The 20th quest of Spirit Bear has been completed. We got one Spirit Petal, three Glitters, and 300 million honey. There we go. So we got the second Spirit Petal, uh, three Glitters, 300 million honey. I'm just repeating myself so you guys can see that. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm not gonna, this is a public server, that's why the chat is flooded with randomness, so just to ignore all that. But yeah, the important thing now is that, is that now, oh, 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 oopsies, I, ah, ninja bees, haste, ninja bees and gifted hasty bee means you go fast alongside the bear morph. But now, if we look in our inventory again, we now have another spirit petal, a delicate flower, a delicate flower, can't speak, a delicate flower petal used in rituals. Jeez, why can I not speak? Okay, so now originally I was going to be like, oh, I'm just going to donate it to the 
I was gonna don't I was gonna make a pedal belt, which I think if I go there now, I actually might be able to. So we're gonna go into the shop. Yeah, I just need to get a hundred gl glue and twenty five star jellies, and technically I could make it because I have twenty billion. But I thought that. But after looking at the stats of the pedal belt, and as you can tell, there are the stats: two hundred fifty thousand. Uh, so pedal belt 15 billion honey it costs one spare pedal 25 star jellies 50 glitters 100 glue pedal belt 15 billion honey drape these petals about your waist to harness unlimited flower power so it has 250,000 capacity uh has 50 percent capacity 100 percent convert amount 100 percent lip luck 75 percent honey from tokens 25 percent buzz bomb pollen plus one colorless b attack and a passive petal storm now, it, I, it, I, I would be lying if I said I didn't want this, but when you look at the honeycomb belt and you compare the stats of this with the pedal belt, you can easily tell that the pedal belt is just a tiny improvement. It's not that much. The only thing that really makes it better is the fact that you get a, is the fact that you get um, you get a one B plus one B attack, I guess, colorless B attack and um and the passive ability that's really the only redeeming qualities of uh of the uh, pedal belt oh well you look at that oh well there he goes <laughs> he gone now he gone now uh yeah uh he has all the in-game gear but yeah this guy's still facing the coco crap which i don't mind but I i'm gonna need that field cleared out soon oh he's out okay but what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what isn't recommended, which is we're gonna donate that spirit pedal to the wind shine to get a windy bee. And of course, every single time I donate wind vials, I'm gonna I'm gonna record it, of course. So today I think we're gonna donate seven. And we can only donate once every hour. Cause I donated a star jelly in order to summon Windy Bee. Okay, uh, l l let's talk to <laughs> let's talk to Spirit Bear about the quest, and then we'll come back hopefully, and this will be done. Oh my goodness, I don't like. No, actually, you know what? I'll battle Coco Crab night now because I don't talk to little kids. What? Not huh? If it weren't for you, what? You don't, bro. I don't yeah, I give up. I would have beat it for him for you. I was once new. Okay, yeah. Uh, BRB, I'm gonna leave this server. It doesn't look like it's a good place. And hello again, back. Uh, thankfully, one of my friends uh, has a private server, so we can go in here and as things to say, 3, 2, 1, the hive is already clean. And no toxic chat, no nothing of like, uh oh, you're trash, oh, I would beat it if it weren't for you, yada, yada, yada. These are the benefits of having a private server, so yeah, you don't have to deal with that. And less lag, because there's only one person in the server. And that can be like those uh, Roblox Beast Swarm YouTubers that just like run around the map explaining stuff. <laughs> but yeah, uh, Windshine, I'm pretty sure we still have to wait an hour, which really sucks. I kind of wish it wouldn't be generated randomly. Like, I know they, they, they spawn around the map randomly, but like, come on, man. <sighs> Man, anywho, I'll talk to Spirit Bear. Oh, you, you startled me. Say, have I ever told you about the pineapple patch? About why we've got pineapples over there instead of something else? Yes, well, it wasn't my idea to plant pineapples over there. Surprising, I know, I wasn't the garden mastermind for once. Well, it was actually Stickbug. Yes, yes, you know Stickbug over there on that mushroom dancing. He likes a tang. His nips, they eat the leaves. That's right, little bees. Those pineapples aren't for you. Leave those for stick bug and his nymphs, you hear me? She gives a firm look at you bees. <clears throat> you can eat the blueberries. Ask your keeper to feed you some of those. But stick bug needs those pineapples. Hey, so do I. I need to make enzymes. Okay, I need to make enzymes to make tropical drinks and get the goodies.
No, no, ha. There's plenty to go around. There better be. <sighs> so many pineapples. <coughs> when Sigma first suggested them, I was not sure how to react. I was quite certain back then, you see, and when it came to the plants, well, I wanted to call the shots. Everybody thought it was a great idea. My sister begged for pineapples. I had my mind set on rhubarb, you see. Rhubarb? You don't know rhubarb? It looks a bit like, looks like a bit like purple celery. For pies, yes, I wanted to make some rhubarb pies. That field would have been perfect for them. Still would. My sister hates rhubarb, but stick bug won't eat something that's so... Well, it looks like a stick. Basically, it'd be weird. <laughs> so I gave in. I let stick bug call the shots. And guess what? I'm happy I did. I like pineapples. Everything turned out okay. Hmm, really though. I still feel like we have a severe lack of rhubarb. Rhubarb deserves a place on this mountain. So potentially in the future, this could be a teaser for a type of purple celery-like field in the future. Who knows? I will make a video on uh, leaks in the future. Don't you worry, right before business. When I probably get to think, when I really get to thinking about it, probably more than pineapples. Hmm. But what's done is done. Where is it? And we receive the quest, Rhubarb that could have been the 21st quest. <sighs> oh god. This is already bad just because of donate one gold egg to the wind shrine. I have to waste 50 tickets for that. Oh my gosh, whatever. Let's see what she says after. Somehow she's staying in your sleep. Rhubarb. <laughs> Why not let her rest while you complete her quest? Yes, of course. Um. So I guess now would be a good time to defeat Coco Crab. I won't bore you guys with it. Um, I have to double reset though. Um, but if you don't know what double reset is, uh, oh god, let me get that puppy love. No, 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 no. I gifted puppy B for a reason. And I'm gonna take full advantage of every ability he gives. So if you don't know what double resetting is, essentially re it's resetting, I think, twice in order for your bees to be able to gain energy. So what you do is all your bees are here with you, reset. As you can see, the bees go up. Now, after you reset, make sure all your bees are in the hive, reset again. And you'll see what happens. On the bottom left, on the bottom right corner, as you can see, yep, you get that spam. That spam of all your bees running out of energy is a good sign because once they wake up, you'll see, I'll show you guys in a moment, you'll see that they will have all of their energy restored. So you can see, not max energy, max energy, max energy, max energy, max energy, max energy, max energy. Max energy. All the bees have the max energy, which is what you want to have in battles because the more energy your bees have, well, yeah, if your bees are at max energy, they're not going to, like, go to sleep uh, during the battle. But that's also why I recommend you probably should do a polar bear uh, quest for polar power. They might not seem, they might not do a lot in the beginning, but trust me, over time, they will definitely help you. So now I'm going to fight Coco Crab, grind for a bit, for an hour, again, and, uh... Yeah, just grind for an hour and I'll be back in an hour where we can finally donate a cloud vial to the wind shrine and, and yeah. So yeah, uh, we'll see you all in around an hour. Uh, enough of that, we are going to do, uh, we're going to donate the second spirit petal to the wind shrine and have a chance at getting Windy Bee. <sighs> okay, here we go. Would you like to make an offering to the Wind Shrine? Yes, we would. There it is. Would you like what? What would you like to donate to the Wind Shrine? One Spirit Petal. <laughs> Here we go. Donate. The Spirit Petal floats gently into the floats gently up into the sky. The chimes ring. Clouds obscure the sun. The sun. The air stands still. You feel as if someone is watching. Suddenly, a breeze disturbs your bees. Oh! 
Whoa! So we got one star jelly, five magic beans, five tropical drinks, five oils, five blue extracts, five red extracts, five enzymes, and 500 treats. Okay, I was not expecting that. I was not expecting it. There's the drop. So we gave a spare petal. We got one star jelly, five magic beans, five tropical drinks, five oils, five blue extracts, five red extracts, five enzymes, and five 500 treats. Wow, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I was not expecting that. Uh, I'll be honest. But yeah, let's see. So now... Yeah, we gotta wait another hour. And uh, I have 10 cloud vials, as you can see in my inventory. I'm gonna scroll down. There it is, 10 cloud vials. So I'm gonna donate... Mm, I'm gonna donate seven because I never use my cloud vials really never really use them I just have them there so I might as well donate a good amount <sighs> And we are back once again after an hour of grinding and whatnot We are back. Oh boy. Yeah, we're back So we're gonna donate seven cloud vials to the wind shrine Just because we can because we want to try and obtain Windy Bee. So I already donated a spirit petal. So here we go. So they usually say like five. I'm doing seven because I don't use cloud vials at all in general. So I'm just going to do a donate. So here we go. The cloud vials shatter into dust. Windy Bee's buzz is heard in the distance. You vibrant chiming, calm and carefree. You call out to the bee, but it doesn't respond. And we get a lot of, and every time you donate uh, cloud vials, it gets you, it gives you quite a couple of treats. So as you can tell, first attempt didn't work, but that's okay. Uh, I didn't expect it to work. You do have to have a good amount of favor to uh, to get Windy Bee. You do need a good amount of favor, but I mean, you can always keep donating cloud vials, and. Uh, Eventually you will get windy bees. So yeah, but yeah, that's Well, there it is <laughs> So uh, on the next next time I will hopefully have uh, Hopefully I'll have uh, the coco clog. I'll hopefully I'll unlock the coco clog And then after that I'm going to make a video about talking about the leaks Of bee swarm simulator and pretty much just uh, in general what's gonna happen before business but yeah with that uh that's really it for today thank that's really it for today yeah thank you all so so yeah uh thank you all so very much for watching <clears throat> i bet <clears throat> thank you all so very much for watching if you did enjoy make sure to like and subscribe and uh yeah and i will see you all next time bye